Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Snacky Buns Food Review. I'm going to be trying out some more snacks today. I have up here on my right 3.15 p.m. brown sugar milk tea. This is made by a Taiwanese company and this is an instant tasty beverage. Who doesn't like brown sugar milk tea? And then to my left, I got Hai Tai Almond Crackers. This is made by a Korean company. Therefore, I am trying out snacks from two different com uh, countries, and I'm not dedicating this episode to a specific country. Uh, if you've been watching my episodes recently, I've been doing that as of late, you know, dedicating a whole week to Thailand, Philippines, you know, you name it. We've got many more countries to go over, but not today. This is a in-between episode where I'm just trying out tasty snacks regardless of the country in Asia. It's kind of a snacky buns purgatory episode, if you want to call it that. So anyway, we got the brown sugar milk tea right here. I need to add hot water to this and chill it. So I'm going to try the easier snack first. This is the high Thai almond crackers. And... Um, this, uh, I'm not really sure if this is a dessert, like a cookie, or if it's actual cracker, if it's more savory or if it's more sweet. We're about to find out. I know it's on the top of everyone's minds. This, you know, on top of everyone's minds, and then next you have whether or not we're going to get in World War III with the Russians. Uh, that comes second after wondering what this will taste like. But anyway, let's dive right into this because I know everyone's eager to find out. Hai Thai Korean Almond Crackers. I love almond cookies. If this is savory, I'm sure it'll be good too. Nice little thin pieces of almond. Here's the front of the box. I see there's a little bit of a glare. Get away, son. All right. And then it comes in these little, little packets right there. You got the almonds on the top. All right. Open this up. Oh, broke it a little bit. Delicate little things. Come on, open. Work with me. All right, I'm getting it everywhere, but that's not too surprising if you watched my other episodes. All right, so let's uh, try this broken piece. Uh, has those little holes in there, kind of like a Ritz cracker. It looks like a cracker rather than a cookie. Looks kind of flaky, you can see inside there. I don't know if that's sugar or salt, but there's something sprinkle on top. And you have some almonds on the top as well. All right, let's try it. So, that might be sugar on top, because I don't taste, this cracker is not salty, but it is a cracker. It is more savory than sweet, definitely not a cookie. The almonds taste good. Almonds in general, I mean, call me crazy, but I feel like almonds are sweet, a little sweet by themselves. So maybe that kind of adds to the sweet sweetness. Maybe that's why I'm tasting. Because I do taste a little bit of sweetness. It's very crumbly. So if you're a messy fuck like me, be careful. It'll go all over the place. I'm going to refrain from eating these in bed. Like I said... It tastes savory, tastes like a cracker. It's a nice taste. I like the almonds. Um, but um, eating crackers by themselves, yawn. I mean, it's as expected. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's more exciting than a regular cracker. I do like those almonds. 
And so I don't think I'm doing justice, this justice, by just eating them by themselves. I really do think that it could use some cheese or, um, you know, a little butter or something like that. Oh, here we go. On the box, it says, with a glass of wine, have it with mozzarella cheese and tomato. That would be really good. And um, for your convenient brunch, breakfast and lunch, it's like we don't know what brunch is. Thank you for explaining. Uh, topping a strawberry or grape jams. It's kind of weird how it's... Uh, how that sentence is structured, but I get it. Okay, so uh, yeah, they um, they provide you tips on what to have this with. So it, it pair, it'll pair well nice with something. Um, yeah, this is good. It's a step up from like a regular cracker. You got those almonds. It is really good. Uh, it doesn't taste stale. It tastes like a fresh cracker. Really good, but I think I'm gonna go in my fridge and get some mos mascarpone mascarpone cheese. I got some in there and I don't want it to go bad. This would be perfect with this. So good. Um, by itself, a little boring, but I can tell that this has a lot of potential and it is a step up from a regular cracker. So I definitely get it. And I'm going to enjoy this with some cheese and, and other jams and stuff like that. It'd be really good. Mm. Okay. So now that we try the cracker, we're gonna try the 3.15 p.m. brown sugar milk tea. Now, reading from the box, it looks like this is just brown sugar milk tea, that's it. But I have seen that they do sell uh, instant uh, bo boba or bubble tea, same thing. And um, I'm gonna have to try that sometime too by 3.15, you had the the bubble pack at um, Tapioca Pearls. If you guys aren't familiar with the bubble, most people are. It's absolutely delicious. But, you know, here's one thing about uh, a bubble or boba tea is that I've noticed that, you know, some of these bubble places, people get really weird about their, their boba tea and there'll be like a really long line uh, to, to get into some of these uh, bubble places tea places that are really good and really well known. And I'll see often a lot when I go in to a bubble tea place, I'll see a high uh, frequency of, um, of people freaking out over, you know, the, the time it takes to get in their tea. Um, there, there's a lot of uh, fiery people that go into those bubble places. I mean, I, maybe I've just been going to the wrong ones, but I, I feel like you know, airports where people get pissed off for their delayed flights and bubble tea places. They're, those are the spots, you know, for freak out uh, uh, Karens. Um, but that's just, you know, my experience. I don't know. People get a little weird about their bubble tea. I don't think this is bubble tea. I think it's just regular tea, but we'll find out. So it comes in these purple packets, as you can see here. And... I guess you can, cold serving, all right, just put in hot water, seep it for three to five minutes, and add ice cubes. Before I go and, and do that, I'll excuse myself and get this seeping, but I just wanna make sure there's nothing more. Yeah, it's just a tea bag. There's, there's no bubble pieces in there, so, but it'll still be good. All right. Here's the milk tea bag, nice and white. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this in some hot water and chill it. All right, everybody, I am back and I have brought with me this nice cold glass of milk tea. Check out that color. Doesn't that look nice and tasty? So this is ready for consumption. Milk tea with brown sugar. And by the way, what is milk tea? What is, what is this stuff? Well, it's pretty simple. It's tea, in this case, it's oolong tea. And milk, that's it. No sleight of hand, you know, no tricks. That's it, it's just tea and milk. And in this case, you know, because you don't have to add any actual milk, it's milk powder. 
and uh, we'll find out if uh, it tastes as good as fresh milk. So let's give it a go. And, oh, and by the way, you know, not just milk tea, but that brown sugar, you know, gives it that nice brown sugar flavor, or we should hope. So let's try it. Yummy. I like that. It's got that nice brown sugar flavor. Uh, I can taste the milk. I can't really, you know, I can't taste too much the quality difference between real milk. Well, actually, I can. But it's good. The powder in here is good. Nice and milky. And um, you get that brown sugar, or sorry, um, yeah, the brown sugar taste. But uh, it's not too sweet, you know? You get that, that unique flavor from the brown sugar, almost like a, I don't wanna say caramel, but you know what I mean. Uh, that caramelized brown sugar, it's really good. It's in the stuff. You can taste that. It's not too powerful, uh, the sweetness. So I like that because then you can just add your sweetness, add a little bit more sugar if you want to, to make it sweeter and make it as sweet as, as you'd like instead of just having some overpowering uh, tea. Mm, really good. Just makes me want to put some boba pieces in this. You know, I, I feel like it's missing something, and that is what it's missing. Nice tapioca pieces on the bottom and suck those things up. Mm, can't get better than that. So, um, really like it. It's it tastes really nice. Nice brown sugar milk tea. Super refreshing. And um, three fifteen p.m. That's the company that makes this. I'm gonna have to try. Uh, more teas from them because I, I have seen there is um, instant boba tea. It comes with a little packet and I think you like heat it up in the microwave or something. I don't know about it. I'm gonna have to find out and uh, and try that because this is tasty and I'd like to suck on little boba pieces too. That would really hit the spot. But it's good. Good tea, good products. I like the crackers too. I'm gonna enjoy these with some cheese later. I'm gonna finish this up as well. So thanks to guy uh, thanks to guys. Thanks a lot guys for watching. And uh, starting soon, I'm gonna be doing a, another um, you know theme, another country. I'm gonna be focusing on a different country. I will let you guys know really soon and then I'll try those foods and dedicate uh, foods for that country throughout the week. So stay tuned and thanks again for watching. Until next time.